Hey everybody, Jeg's Garage here. We're gonna take a quick look at one of the many projects I have going on right now. I have a extensive list. Um, <clears throat> the don't worry, I didn't forget about some of the things I said I was gonna take video of. But um, the tablet project is coming along well. I'm getting ready to. It's already mocked up in the car. I'm gonna pull it out and lay everything out on the bench for you guys to see what I'm doing. And I got some upholstery work to do for this project so that'll be fun um, a couple other little odds and ends but what I want to do right now is uh, talk about something that everybody uh, some people might not be uh, familiar with these but uh, anybody that tinkers with electronics especially automotive electronics should um, know what this is uh, this is a, a 12 volt regulated power supply um, it's it's made by Cobra so you know you know, if you guys know Cobra, it's been around for a while. I don't know what year this is. Sorry. Uh, it's a model CA20 if you're interested. Thermally protected. I have no idea how old it is. Anyway, it's um, it outputs 13.8 volts at 2 amps. So that means that if you try to draw more than 2 amps from this thing, it will pop. It'll pop the little breaker inside and then it'll come back on a few minutes later um, there's no ground protection it, it's got two wires that I keep cutting shorter and shorter and shorter till I run out and then I attach new wires so bottom line is it's just not doing it for me I need a little bit more than two amps um, occasionally and I also like different voltages I like having five volts often so this this old guy here while it's a good uh, a good unit just isn't isn't cutting it anymore so here, here's what we're gonna Here's what we're going to do about that. Some of you may have guessed. We're going to use a PC power supply um, as a benchtop power supply. I have two here. I have um, one that looks really cool. I mean, there's a whole bunch of wires coming off of it, and there is some SATA power. So this is a slightly newer one. Um, it's got a nice fan. It does also have a on-off switch on the back, which I like. It's actually got two fans. I don't know if this one has two fans. This one does not have two fans. Um, anyway, long story short, this one, um, my 12 volt power is 14 amps. And on this one, it is 18 amps. So this one's got a little bit more juice to it. Um, but this one also, um, on the main connector, I don't think actually has a 12 volt lead, so I'd have to use um, this little guy here, I believe. The yellow wires are the 12 volts. I have to double check. Um, it also has wires coming out of two different locations, whereas this one has everything coming out of one. Um, so I got a little bit of testing to do. Uh, I'm not going to get into that. There's plenty of write-ups on online. I don't know exactly which one I'm going to use yet. Probably this one, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. It's got two fans. All the wires are coming out of one side. It looks better sitting on the bench. And um, it has the the uh, newer 24-pin setup here. Um, so I'm pretty sure my 12-volt will come out of that. No problem. So just the basic rundown, I'm going to use the power supply. It's probably going to kind of, I don't know, I might mount whatever I'm going to mount on top of it. it. might be something like this. And then I have a project box, which I'm going to secure, you know, somehow or do something like that. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. Uh, I am not going to mount my posts and pins to this case. I don't like it when people do that. It's, I don't know, to me, I'd rather have it all in this case separately. So I'm gonna run the, uh, you know, run the cables in. I've got a, I bought a connector that has a 24-pin female on it with wires coming off of it, so I don't have to do any <clears throat> splicing or cutting on that. And the reason I did that is because if this ever burns out, I can just pop this one in and just plug it in, and I have my power supply or any power supply that I might come across. Um, I bought a whole pack of banana uh, or uh, terminal plugs or whatever you want to call these things, banana plugs. They, have banana, they do accept banana plugs. They do accept the wire. You can just stick a wire through there. Um, so they'll work. And then to go along with those, I got a, a bunch of alligator clips with banana plugs on the ends already. So this will kind of take the place of the 
of this wire that I had coming off the back. I can just leave those plugged into 12 volts and I have a switch. And then I also got some uh, electrical connectors. So the basic gist is, is you, you know, you, you run your, your, all your grounds. There's a bunch of grounds in here. Pretty much every black wire is a ground. You know, you, you don't have to use them all. You can use a couple of them, two or three of them. Um, so you, you run all the, run all the grounds together and then this will output, um, 3.3 volts, 5 volts and 12 volts. And there's also a way to get it to p uh, output, um, uh, 24 volts because it does have a negative 12 volt line. I'm not going to do that. Maybe someday if I make it variable, I will. So I can have like a, uh, you know, zero to 24 volt variable power supply, uh, that could come in handy, I suppose. Um, but that's pretty much it. I'll, I'll probably show the finish. Like I said, there's plenty of um, projects on or uh, instructions on how to do this um, to varying degrees of difficulty. You know, using variable resistors and LEDs and power, you know, power lights. I'm not going to do any of that. Um, just going to keep it simple. And I don't know if I'm going to attach this. I might. I don't know something like that. I might put my. Uh, you know, these things on the front here, and then maybe my power switch up top, or I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't have a real plan. I'm going to wing it, but I'll show you what happens when I'm finished. Okay, here's the uh, <clears throat> pretty much finished here. Um, I did trim off a lot of stuff, pretty much all these uh, external connector connectors. Um, what I tried to do is I tried to leave... You can take a peek at my wiring in here if you can see. Um, the top row is all my grounds. They're kind of daisy chained together. I used maybe uh, four or five ground wires out of the bundle. And then um, I used two to three wires per connection there. So if there was four or five wires that carried five volts, I picked two or three of them and uh, just kind of used them that way. Um, the switch is on, you know hooked up there there's a there's a sensing wire it's usually green you just ground that and it uh, will activate this uh, it's an it's it's not one that needs a load to keep running which is nice um, so I didn't have to do anything I just pulled the power wires out separated them pulled the grounds out separated them and hooked it up there's a couple of wires in here that aren't hooked up um, I'm gonna use those for hooking up LEDs. One uh, is like a standby wire, so when you turn the, uh, the main power back here on, uh, actually it's over here now, when you turn this main switch on, which does nothing with that without that being on, you'll get like a standby light, and then when you flick that on, you get a power light. If I'm bored, I might hook that up. Um, but uh, I'm gonna put the lid on real quick and just show you that it works, and then we're gonna call this a really quick project. Um, you know, I like it, it's cool should have plenty of power pardon the mess here kind of did this in a little bit of a hurry but uh, it's mounted on top I just did it with some uh, some 3m tape I can pull it back apart if I need to but it's definitely not going anywhere it's nice and solid um, I also like putting it this way I mean first of all the wires all feed nicely out and go right into the top there but I liked it this way because if I turned it, you know, the fans would be backed up because this is probably going to sit back here. Um, the fans would be backed up to the, the pegboard. Uh, I like this because I have a quick reference for my, um, you know, what my capacity is, even though I'll never, never hit that. So anyway, real quick, just to show it's working, I have the multimeter hooked up. This should be 3 volts, 5 volts, 12 volts, 12 volts. This is a second 12 volt line. There is a 12 volt 1 and a 12 volt 2. 12 volt 1 is uh, 14 amps, 12 volt 2 is 15 amps. And... Um, I, I'd have to I have to check and see how that's supposed to work with the negative 12. One of those wires is a negative 12 in there that I could technically hook up and get the 24, but I just figured a second 20, 12 volt would be fine for now. So uh, power the unit up. That's standby. Nothing's working right now, but when I flick the switch, there I have my it's like 3 3.4, switch to 3 3.3 I think so. Um, all the grounds are connected together, so if I move this banana plug over to here, I get my 5 volts. If I move it to the next one, I get 12. And this one should also give me 12. This one on the end has another uh, its own dedicated set of uh, grounds because it was in a separate little cable, but all the grounds on, it, on these power supplies are all hooked together, so... Um, 
There you go. That kills it. That fires it up. I have a little label maker. I'm going to put some labels up here. Uh, and I'll probably put, like, my LEDs right here or right here. Something like that. But uh, I can show... If I get them done, if I get bored and I do those quick, I'll show you guys. But you get the idea. Uh, pretty cool, though. I, I'm, I'm glad I was able to get that done. And uh, I'll be able to retire that old old guy right there, even though it's been good to me. Um, so, yeah. I encourage you to try that. You know, like I said, there's write-ups online. If you have any questions about how I figured out the wiring or how I mounted anything or whatever, you can feel free to contact me. And um, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Hey, this is a quick update. It's only a few days later um, after I made this thing and I took some video of it. Um, I made a couple modifications here. One is I added a light, just a small LED right there, and that is my standby light. So that comes on. I still have no power to anything. That's literally just reminding me that I have the auxiliary, well, the main power switch on. Uh, if I didn't have a switch, I wouldn't have done that. It just kind of made sense. Uh, the other thing I did was I put this big honking nitrous button up here. <laughs> um, I, I could have put another LED on there telling me when I have the, when the unit's turned on, but that's there's nothing more obvious than that big red thing being up. Um, and also... I don't know, it, it, it kind of worked. I've, I've had this probably for 20 years sitting in my electric bag. So um, it's a nice it's a nice sturdy switch. And like I said, it kind of looks cool on there. And it's very obvious when the unit's turned on or potentially turned on. Obviously, it can be up but off. But uh, the other thing I did was I added, um, I actually took the USB hub that used to be for my tablet install and I popped it up on top there. And uh, all I did was took a female USB, um, a female, you know, a piece of female USB cable and just wired it to the 5 volt uh, pins in here and then uh, just plugged this directly in. So I could easily just pull that off and unplug it and put another hub on there. And so I tried to keep it all connected. The only reason I did this was for testing. Um, you know, there's just all kinds of stuff I'm doing down here with my uh, tablet project and everything else. And it's just nice to be able to pop USB, you know, plugs directly into something to test. You know, for instance, when I was trying to get my uh, battery board to work, you know, I just kind of rigged this up real quick and uh, plug it in there and test it out. So uh, this little update, I still think this is one of the best things ever for a workbench. Thing is so great. Stays on for a few seconds until it discharges. Cool. Thanks for watching.